enemies is our duty. I'm glad I can depend on you to do what's necessary, Lieutenant. I think the fantasy of the trooper is about being yourself, only something more. You're a highly trained, elite fighting machine. You're unstoppable. You're an officer. You have extreme responsibilities, major decisions to make. You decide how things get done. If you try to take me down, I'll wipe your squad out. The trooper is shoot first, ask questions later. The Inquisitor is always thinking, always calculating, always trying to figure out what the best path is. What do the artifacts do exactly? They will make you more powerful than you could imagine. I have foreseen it. People are going to get told of the Inquisitor story that both want to be the mastermind and really pull the strings behind the scenes, or people who really just want to shoot lightning out of their hands. Tell us where they took it. The appeal of being a trooper is that you get to be the defender of, of, what, of, of what your ideals are against the face of really just pure evil. I mean, the Empire is, are the bad guys for sure. And, you, know, you get to be, in a very real way, the defender of peace. The Inquisitor uh, starts as, as a slave, but quickly she finds that she has her own path that has nothing to do with being a slave in the past. She fits in quite well with the Sith. That whole attitude of, yes, I belong here, everyone should recognize that, is pretty awesome. The trooper is a guy who isn't born with superpowers. He's an everyman uh, thrust into these crazy situations. When you're playing an Inquisitor, especially when you're playing an assassin, the combination of stealth and a heavy hitting and lightning ability is just something you cannot underestimate. She's very sneaky, very stealthy, and has a lot of upfront damage on demand. Two words, massive cannon. I've got it, you don't. That's really the bottom line with the trooper. Double-bladed lightsabers, uh, the force. Rocket launchers. She's got stealth. Grenades, missiles. She shoots lightning out of her hands, and she is the evil that nobody expects. When I finish my ascent, all will bow or face my might. Inquisitor, Trooper, they get into a fight. Inquisitor, eventually he's gonna get tired. Swinging the lightsaber, shooting all this lightning, all that. Trooper doesn't get tired, he just reloads. The Inquisitor has all the advantages here. She gets to start the fight on her terms. She gets to control the Trooper. The Trooper's heavy armor is just slowing him down. Once she shows up and the Trooper actually turns around that giant gun, all she's going to do is stun him, take off, and then come back out and do it to the poor guy again and again. I know that uh, the fight's gonna start when I'm not ready for it, so I'm gonna need to be able to push her away with concussion charge, and when I have her where I want her, I'm gonna hit her with an explosive demolition charge. The truth of the matter is, I don't need to hit her too often in order to take her down. The Inquisitor has uh, a lot that she can use to take down a trooper. She still has Force Lightning, and so even when she is out of range or finds herself in a tight spot, she has uh, those long-ranged attacks. It's absolutely going to be the trooper. We're coming, and we're bringing guns. The Inquisitor is going to win. Uh, trooper's going to win. No question. The Inquisitor is going to win this fight because she's got everything on her side, including the dark side of the Force. 